Okay, I just want to go over some of the main uses of the jetting calculator. The idle jet and the main jet, it will not select for you. You have to do that on your own. And this is my website, and this tells how to go about that. It fully describes everything. So let's check out how it helps you to select the needle height. Right here are the three measurements you need to take uh, and the computer program after that is all entered will show you right here what the slide height is at the beginning of the needle taper and you'll have to enter that number right here and down here it shows you uh, when the needle kicks in this one's kicking in late Normally is like around uh, one quarter slide open, which is about right here. And the result of that being laid causes it to be lean. And the blue graph is the jetting graph. It's showing leaner than the gray graph. Low is lean, high is rich. And I've taken screenshots from the uh, spreadsheet and put them here on paint. This shows a very uh, low clip position, which is, is uh, actually um, the lowest clip position plus a two millimeter spacer. And the, uh, the main jet has to be adjusted when it makes it that, when you change it that much, you have to change the main jet also. But you can see it's uh, it's rich in the middle because the needle kicks in very early. This is normal right here. In this case, the needle is kicking in around 3 8 slide open. And this right here is kicking in late, which makes it lean. So the advantage here is uh, being able to look at the graph and try different settings right here. And then uh, which, whichever one works best, then you have to enter in the, uh, the number here for the clip position for that number to match that. So yeah, it's a great, it's a great tool. Instead of having to be out, you, you know, bothering the neighbors going up and down, up and down. You can do it virtually. Try it out. Maybe it'll be one position off from what, what the program tells you at most. Usually it's right on. The next thing we want to look at is being able to select different needles and see how it affects the uh, jetting graph. And doing this virtually can save you a lot of money. Because when you don't do it virtually, that means you're just guessing and you're buying needles. And some of those needles are not cheap. So on, on this spreadsheet, we've got a tab down here for each different type of carburetor. And then if it's not a Makuni, Keyhine, or Del Orto, you just use the old carb jetting calculator and measure everything. So on the Makuni VM TM sheet, if you scroll down, you see the specs for all the different needles. This is the series number four needles. Five, six, seven, and right here you can enter in specs for any custom needle. So when you, um, when you enter into the needle ID right here, if it's one of those listed below, it'll automatically uh, include all the diameters, the different slide position settings, and calculate the graph for you. Just, just to see, I'm going to put in a different needle right here. Did you see how that graph change? 
on the Makuni TMS TMX sheet. It's got these needles recorded right here, which is not a lot of variety. And if you find a different needle, you'll have to use a, a digital caliper to measure it and enter it in to one of these rows right here. On the key hind, this is the most complex one because you get a different set of needles for each different group of carbs. This section right here is for the uh, 33 to 38 millimeter carbs. This is uh, PWK 26 to 28 and PE 26 to 28. And this is the section for the stock needles. So when you when you try a different needle, you have to enter it here and in the one of these three places according to what carb you're working with. And it uses the these charts over here to the right to compute the taper angles, the L1 lengths, and the straight section diameters. Del Orto has a ton of needles, just a ton of them, and they're not recorded on this sheet. You have to look up the needle and enter its specs right here. Okay. And if you click right here, you can go to my website that lists all the needles. You can see it is a lot of needles. I went to the trouble for the Makuni, but I haven't got around to it yet for the Del Orto. And that's about it for the needles. Um, it's a great advantage being able to virtually select. So next we're going to look at the needle jets. A lot of people don't even know what a needle jet is. It's the little hole at the bottom of the carb that the needle slides in. I would say in and out of, but it, you don't want it to come completely out of it. The needle has to be long enough where it never pulls out completely. So uh, except for Keyhine, which has set diameters for the needle jets, 2.9 millimeters being for the PWK, the Makuni and the uh, Del Orto have uh, available needle jets of different diameters. If you, on the BM page, you enter the uh, ID, it'll automatically calculate the diameter. On the Del Orto, the same thing. The diameter is actually just the first three numbers with a period put after the first one. So a 266 AQ would be 2.66 millimeters. So here you can see on paint uh, some screenshots I took that show with the, uh, the wider uh, needle jets you get uh, richer jetting. And of course, since it affects the whole range of jetting, if you go uh, a larger diameter in the needle jet, you have to put a smaller idle jet in and a smaller smaller main jet in. And if you classically, if, if this beginning section out right here dips dips down a lot, it's because the needle jet is is too uh, too lean, too small. And if it goes up like this one does, it's too big. So that's an easy way to tell, just that very first section.
So next we've got the uh, slide cutaway. We'll take a look at that. So you can see here um, on paint, this screenshots with zero cut away on my 16 millimeter card. You have a raising of the uh, the low throttle position. A little bit here too. So you just bring the whole thing down with it not being affected at wide open throttle. So that the higher the cutaway, the leaner it is. So that's, but it's not not a huge not a huge effect much better is um, manipulating it with the uh, needle shroud or putting holes in the needle jet okay so I guess that covers what I wanted to say on this video thanks for watching